feel good inside, things that will help you with your confidence, things that will help you with your attitude, that give you that glow, that enthusiasm, that attitude that somebody says, I want to talk to that person. One of the ways you can do that is spend quality time with your spouse, your friends, your family. <laughs> do something you've always wanted to do. This, by the way, is real. This is stormtroopers doing a pit stop at a Formula One race at the Monaco Grand Prix. You know? When I was unemployed that year, yes, money was tight. Yes, I didn't have a lot. But you know what? I had always wanted to go deep sea fishing with my brother, who is a preeminent fisheries biologist. And I said, Dan, I've never gone deep sea fishing. I want to go fishing with you. I want you to just have some fun. Well, my sister happens to live in Florida. We said to my mom, Mom, Dad died not long ago. Let's go down and spend Thanksgiving in Florida. Okay, I had to pay for my airfare. We figured out cheap ways of arrangement for staying. My brother actually brought his whole family. We went out deep sea fishing. Something I always wanted to do. Take the time to do that while you've got it. Volunteer work for experience. Once again, something to put on your resume that contributes to your overall skill level. Connect with your faith. I'm not going to describe to who or what that faith should be, but Luke Skywalker, when he had those moments of truth, those moments of pain, those indecision, what should he do? He needed some confidence. Who did he talk to? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Make, I really firmly believe that if you do have a strong belief in your faith, that it's great to have God in your corner. Because when those times hit hard, hey, God's right there backing me up. He's not going to let me fail. Right? It's kind of like Rocky. Who did he have in his corner all the time when he's getting beaten up by Apollo Creed? He had Mickey, right? Come on, Rock, go get him! Yeah. Woke up some of you on that. <laughs> get an ally in your corner if you're not sure about your faith, and if you have no beliefs, question why. I'm not saying you have to have them, but maybe now's the time of reflection. Get a part-time job. Once again, I work five of them. It might not be right for some, uh, some people, but you know what? It's a lot easier to make connections with people when you're out in the community doing things than when you're sitting on your couch. One of the people I worked with actually took a part-time job at a grocery store as a cashier. Lady dropped, uh, and this person was a graphic artist, by the way. Lady dropped uh, one of the two-liter bottles of soda on the floor. It broke. Cashier came around. She helped clean it up, pick it up, started a conversation with her. Gee, two weeks later, she had a job as a graphic designer in that lady's agency because she was the art director for that agency. It happens. Make the search fun. Don't give up on your network, your skills, and yourself. Stay positive. Have fun with it. I believe, honestly, that you can find all the answers in life, not only in Star Wars, but Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> Once again, I'm a geek and I admit it. On YouTube, live, or on delay, whatever you want to call it. So thank you very much for paying attention to me. I hope you got your that one or two arrows to put in your quiver. And I appreciate your time very, very much. And thank you for allowing me to pursue my passion. Thank you.